Well, heading back to 22nd and Stout again tonight, where Denver conducted its first homeless camp cleanup under new mayor Meg Johnston. Earlier this week, we visited this camp and saw dead and living rats, trash, and a lot of empty Narcan. Today, our copter flew over that camp after the cleanup, and you can see fences have now been put up around those rock piles out there. A lot of trash still left behind. Now, just last week, Mayor Johnson said all sweeps would stop until there was adequate housing. But now the mayor's office says the recent rat infestations and health concerns motivated this sweep. Gabriella Vidal spoke with the community now searching for a safe place to sleep tonight. Gabriella. Yeah, Karen and the mayor's office told us this evening that there were several people from the city departments out there today helping with this cleanup process and also providing information on shelter options. But without permanent housing options available at this time in the city, those that were living on the streets that were forced to move say this just feels like a temporary solution to making them feel safer. That was really bad. That, um, I used to spray every day. Like, like bleach and stuff. James Lee Lewis II recalls how awful it was sleeping next to rats that have piled up in the rocks along 22nd and Stout. I would be in my tent and, and they would be scratching around and, and I, I'd be jumping in there like, ah! Friday morning, Lewis and dozens others experiencing homelessness were ordered to pack up and leave this part of the downtown area now covered by fencing. It was a little bit different because we, we were like notified. Usually you don't get that much notice and you end up losing some stuff. But just like Lewis, those who were displaced had nowhere to go but setting up camp nearby. I know it's a pain to move, but I think that's probably better than, um, than having to stay in an area that's known to be poor for your health. Ian Karsten is the owner of Randy's Recycled Cycles. While he says it would be ideal to have housing options immediately available before sweeps like this take place. He supports this measure if it protects the health of those living on the street while providing some relief for businesses where these encampments exist. Makes it a little easier maybe for that week or so to do some business for one business and then if it moves around maybe the next business and the next business. While there's not enough units available to house people like Lewis right now, he's hopeful the mayor will change that. I think um, if, if he really puts some effort and thought into it, and networking with, with um, people that, 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 that want to see a change. Yeah, some, 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 some positive can, can come out of it, you know what I mean? All the way around. And in that same statement from the mayor's office, it says that Mayor Mike Johnson and the Emergency Operations Center are working daily to identify and find housing units by the end of this year. In Denver, I'm Gabriella Vidal covering Colorado First. Thank you, Gabby.